So every single one of us here has probably had a seamless online checkout experience within the last past decade or so. Well, we have Checkout.com for that. And here to talk about the massive growth of the company and the digital economy in the MENA region is Guillaume Poussat, the CEO of Checkout.com, one of the most important and earliest payments platforms to ever have existed. Guillaume, it's so wonderful for you to be here. Thank you very much for having me. So since March 2020, we've witnessed one of the largest, fastest changes in consumer behavior in history. And as customers rapidly shifted their daily purchases online and started taking part of the digital economy, businesses were forced to respond quickly to remain relevant. So Guillaume, your company was key in facilitating this massive transformation, but it doesn't look like you're done yet. You're, you've just raised over a billion dollars of funding to enable businesses to thrive in the digital economy. But what precisely does it mean for a business to thrive in this new frontier, and how can you help? So I think I'll start by the word enable, which is you know, probably even more important. We're here to help merchants. I think it's, we've always been a payment partner. That's the way we see it. We think that merchants should build a value proposition to their customers and not build the payment infrastructures. So I think that's the, that's the key thing. Thriving in the digi digital economy is basically capturing where the world is going. Uh, one of the things we fundamentally believe here at Checkout, we believed this 10 years ago and we still believe it today, is that the world is changing. Mm -hmm. um, the world is changing because our kids, my three kids, are not interacting with the internet like my mother was, mm -hmm. and so they're going to just buy more into a, a digital economy. But it's also changing because governments and you know the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, uh, under its leadership, has the vision 2030, and it creates you know, a rate of change that is even faster than the world would go normally. And if we can help merchants and our customers capture this opportunity, then essentially, you know, we're creating value for them, we're creating value for ourselves, we're creating value for our shareholders, and I think that's, that's the business model. Capturing the way the world is moving, I love that. So there's a saying that the pandemic forced companies to cram 10 years worth of innovation in just one or two years. So how different does the digital economy look today than at the start of the pandemic? And how is that different from where we were 10 years ago? And what the next 10 years hold? So I mean, um, I'm not sure it's 10 years. Probably four or five years would probably be more correct. But again, I think um, globally what we've seen is that working from home, being at home under virus lockdowns forced people to you know, consume online. So we've, we've seen a huge acceleration. And one of the key things that you know, we were really wondering is like, are things going to slow down? Are they going to go back to normal? And I think when you shift uh, a behavior, when you sh shift a habit, you know, could it be buying your groceries online or buying food online? It's, there's no going back. You know, I yeah. think like uh, my mother now buys her grocery online and she, she's 76 and still <laughs> has seen the benefit of it. So there's going to be no go back. Um, the, where the world is going, I think this is probably uh, um, a more open question. Certainly, we need to agree that it's going to be more online. One of the things we always say to our merchants is that we don't have a crystal ball. We don't know where the world is going per se, but by trusting us with their payments, they know they have a partner who will basically you know, uh, help the world you know, transform and support it. Specifically in this country, we were the, the first MADA e-commerce transaction was processed on the Checkout.com platform. When pay, uh, Apple Pay launched here, eight of the 10 merchants were on the Checkout.com platform. That would be a Jarir, Hunger Station, Nana, Extra, Almas Affair. And um, the, the way I see things is that my role, the role of Checkout.com, is to basically, as the world evolves, as there's new opportunities, underwrite those opportunities, create the payments that actually enable merchants to build their businesses, and I think that's why the merchants are choosing us. They're choosing that partner that helps them solve complex payment problems. Absolutely, that is so well said.